Welcome bakers. We've got another one for you today. Fresh fruit tart. Uh, berries are in season, so let's let's utilize them. I made a uh, tart crust. We'll get into that at another time, but uh, this is a almond tart dough that I made a crust. As I pulled it out of the oven, I put some uh, chocolate bits on the bottom to serve as like a preventive barrier uh, to let the pastry cream, so the pastry cream won't soak through. Check us out on a previous Tom's table where we made pastry cream. So basically, on top of this tart and the chocolate, we're going to lay down our pastry cream. Be generous with it, why not? Okay. Once again, you're filling in all the way around that crust. All right. Get it nice and smooth. Actually, I used to be a uh, concrete finisher, so this uh, comes in handy. Do we want to use the rest of that cream? I don't want to over overfill it, but a little more couldn't hurt. All right, you got plenty of pastry cream right there, all right? Just one more around the edge. All right, you got your fresh berries. You know, I could take three hours and start placing them all around evenly, but I can also do this. And just bring them everywhere. Spread them out. Sorry about that. And you just want to cover all the cream. How's that look to you? Pretty nice, right? Got a blend of blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. All right fresh fruit tart. To finish that, go to Jewel, apricot preserves. These were two jars for five bucks. So you just take one, heat it up, strain it a little bit to get the pieces of apricot out. You just got like a, you're going to glaze your tart to give it a nice shine. So we're there. Let's go right on top. Look at the berries. Huh? Looking nice. And this is also kind of a protectant too. But it's all about the look too, right? We already know the pastry cream's good. Get all over it. Use as much as you want. Get a nice glaze on there. Now that glaze will set up to be real nice. So there you go. Fresh fruit tart. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.